Okay, so as you can see, I've already done one side of my head. So all you want to do is make sure your hair is brushed out. And to be honest with you, these um, type of tighter curls work better on like um, second day old hair, I guess you could say. Like, I washed my hair yesterday. I don't wash my hair every single day because that's bad for your hair if you do that. Because it like strip your, strips your hair of the natural oils. So um, the oils in your hair help to um, hold the curls. So you want to do this um, preferably on like second day old hair. So basically what you're going to do, um, it depends on how thick, how thin your hair is. My hair is about medium. Um, it's definitely not thin, but it's not really, really thick. So what you want to do is um, section it off. I'm just going to do two sections. So I just like to twist it and then take a clip and pin back my hair. So that way um, I curl every single piece and I don't leave any pieces out. This is the Conair Infinity, the U-Curl Curling Iron. And this is the pink one. It sports breast cancer. So if you're going to buy this curling iron, definitely go for the pink one because um, part of the money is going to benefit breast cancer. So have a heat protectant in your hair. This is the Matrix Sleek Look Iron Smoother. I already applied this. I promise I did. I would definitely not be um, using any type of heat on my hair without a heat protectant. So, but I did already apply this, so I don't want to use more of it. Um, and this is really, really good. So it's going to protect your hair from the heat. Never use heat on your hair without using heat protectant. So that's a really good one to use. And then I'm going to use this curling iron, as I said. And I am, the heat setting is 400. And the reason that it's so high is because these are really, really tight curls. Um, they're definitely not like those big, wavy, voluminous curls that you see. Um, so you want to make sure that you're using um, a really high heat setting to like ensure that the curls are going to be really really tight and that way you don't have to hold um, you don't have to like hold the hair on the barrel as long so basically all you're going to do, I'm just going to show you how to do one or two curls and then I'm going to go ahead and just like fast forward it with some music you just want to tilt the tilt this down and then you want to wrap this away from your head just like that and you want to take like about an inch section that was kind of messy and I have a mirror right here so that's why I'm looking over here and then I like to hold it down for about like anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds. So basically that's all you want to do and you can see that the curl is pretty tight. Hopefully you can see it. Tight curl. Okay, so as you can see I've curled the rest of my hair. I'm um, tea swizzle. Some of the pieces what I actually did was I just took the curling iron, it's off now, I turned it off, but I just took a piece and I curled it really, really close to the root to give a little bit of volume and then I just kind of fingered it around um, because you want to have just a little bit of volume in the front, just like that. So, um, yeah, and especially if you have like fringe or bangs or whatever, um, you don't want to like curl the bang, you want to leave a little bit of it out and then you just want to curl like the end so you get that like swooping effect of the bang. It's really really easy to do. Um, just don't like curl this part otherwise you're just gonna have like this really weird like curl thing at the top and that's just not good. So you want to make sure that you just don't do that. So alright, now we have the rest of the hair and I sprayed it a little bit with my bed head hairspray. This stuff is great. So now we're gonna do like the updo part. Now um, first of all it's completely optional if you want to do this updo thing. This is the whole point of the video but if you're just wanting to figure out how to do these Taylor Swift curls, I think these are perfect Taylor Swift curls. They're really like spirally. I'm going to go ahead and do the actual updo now. So all you're gonna need is a hair elastic and then um, some bobby pins. So this is just like um, a little clear. Actually this is white hair elastic. Since we have these curls when you pull the hair back into the messy bun, you get this really pretty like draping effect of the curls just like this. And it kind of just drapes across the head and it looks really, really pretty. Um, especially for summer. I just think it's I think it's really pretty because it's a way to get your hair up out of your face. It looks really elegant, but then again it's a messy bun, so it's like a perfect combination. You know, you have that carefree look and then you also have that really sophisticated put together look. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hair. And what I'm going to do, this is exactly how I'm going to do my hair. So all you're going to do is I'm going to take part of the hair and I'm just going to twist part of it back. So actually, I'm going to take three different sections. So I'm going to take this section in the back and I'm just going to go ahead and twist it. Just like this. And then I'm going to push it up a little bit to give it some volume. So hopefully you can see that. So I'm just going to push it up just a tad bit to give it a little bit of volume. And then I'm going to bobby pin it. So you're going to have like three different little twist things. So I'm going to go ahead and bobby pin that into place, like that. 
And then I'm going to do a second section, just like this. And you just want to go ahead and twist. And you can see the curls. It's really nice because the curls are going to help those twists like stay in place. So go ahead and just twist and pin. So hopefully you can see what it looks like. Just like that. And then the last section, you just want to kind of gently twist and then just pin it back like this. So you, hopefully you can like see that. Okay. okay, so there we go. You can see that's really, really, I really like that. So now we're going to do the same thing with this side. I kind of have to turn this way because my mirror is over here. So you guys probably hopefully get the idea. So you just want to take three sections and twist them back. And then that's going to be part of the bun. Then we're going to take the rest of the hair and gather it up. And then all I'm going to do is gently, you just want to really gently, because you still want to be able to see the texture of the curls. So you don't want to really, really, like, oh, here's, I'm just going to show you what you don't want to do. You don't want to do this. You do not want to do that to where it's so tight that it really, you just can't tell. You just want to really, really gently, don't worry, that's not going to ruin the curls. You just want to really, really gently pick the hair up kind of want to go high up on the head. You want to pick the hair up and you want to gently twist the hair. It's okay if pieces stick out, that's totally fine, but you just want to gently twist it. Just like that. And then you just want to go ahead and start wrapping it into a bun. And then you want to take all the fallout pieces and just wrap it into a bun. Secure it into place. So this is what it looks like. I really, really like it. I think it's so pretty for summer. So I'm going to go really slow and show you guys what it looks like. You can see like the pretty draping on the side. It's so pretty. I love all this draping. So that was the hairstyle. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I think this is so pretty for summer. Um, it's like a really romantic hairstyle. I really, really like it. And I think that it's nice because it gets your hair out of your face. It gets it off your shoulders and everything like that. So I really like this hairstyle for summer. Let me know what you guys think of it and if you try it out. And I will see you all very soon. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.